Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. I just finished watching Black Swan. Actually, this is take two of my recording because I was so all over the place, like even more than usual in the first recording. This movie is incredible. So I recommend you stop watching and go watch this film as soon as possible. This is better than Pulp Fiction, Shawshank Redemption, um, you know, all the greats like that. Saving Private Ryan. This one is guarantee going to be the best movie you've ever watched. So it's, it's something else. And I didn't really know what to expect when I went into it because, I mean, it's on Disney+. Plus. I, I pretty much only clicked on it because of Natalie Portman. So I, that's all the information I had, and I didn't know what I was getting into. So this film, I'll tell you about it now. And like I said, um, I recommend you don't listen to this. I recommend you go watch this film as soon as possible. I think you're doing, you are robbing yourself the once in a lifetime opportunity to properly experience this movie if you haven't seen it and you're going to watch this review. So yeah, I know it's in my best interest to keep you here watching, but you got to see this. You have to. So this is about Natalie Portman's character who is a extremely an extremely talented ballerina but it's extremely mentally tolling and exhausting both phys yeah, physically and mentally so physically because she pushes herself beyond the human limits she also has this um, she, she has this uh, habit where she picks at her skin as well so she's constantly bleeding everywhere all over the place uh, she has yeah it, it's so physically, she also throws up routinely. She cannot keep food down. Normally, that would be for bulimic reasons, um, you know, for a ballerina to keep their figure and everything. But in this case, it's much more the mental stress and exhaustion that I suspect that's this is the main cause of her throwing up so much. So that's the physical part of it. Also, she gets constantly groped, sexually harassed the entire time in this film. So that's all the physical stuff. The mental stuff is uh, her mother is probably bipolar and is putting her through hell, basically. A lot of grievance and turmoil. So her home life sucks, her work life sucks, her life just sucks in general. She doesn't think it sucks, but from our perspective, it definitely sucks. This is way this is beyond human capacity. This is not what people were meant to do, like uh, to push themselves this hard. So her whole thing is that she strives for perfection and she wants to, she wants to achieve greatness and she becomes obsessed with landing a role, which she eventually does, called the Swan Queen. And the Swan Queen requires her to do two different uh, dance routine styles. One is the, the white queen, which is the one she's good at. She, it's all about being fragile, angelic, timid, frigid, stuff like, words like that, passive. Um, but then she also has to do the performance of the black swan, which is her dark, uncontrolled, uh, yeah, basically just dark, uncontrolled, and um, volatile side, which she struggles with. And her director puts her through a lot of stress and grief to try and get that perfection out of her. I mean, he goes, he goes the whole mile. He will just randomly grope her. You know, she, he will randomly make out with her. Uh, he'll give her a homework assignment of masturbating to try and evoke this from her. It's, it's, he, it's pretty wild, right? So she is basically being under, put under 24-7 stress. And here's where it gets worse. She also has hidden, undiagnosed, unsurfaced schizophrenia. And the film itself is one big slow burn of a descent into madness and a realistic depiction of what it's like to have schizophrenia and be pushed to the limit. So it's a beautiful film absolutely incredible. In fact, I would declare it my new favorite film of all time. My previous favorite films were, the first one was Scream, poster on the wall right there, and the second one, which replaced Scream, was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. 
Black Swan blows both of those out of the water completely. So it's not even sad to say that time. Like I think I was pretty sad when Harry Potter replaced Scream, but this time I'm not feeling sad at all. <laughs> this this film's on another level entirely. So it really is like watching. So let's start off. Are there any negatives? I would say no. I would say the film is a flawless masterpiece in my opinion. Granted, yes, there are some vulgar, over-the-top offensive stuff, like the constant sexual harassment and assaults. Um, and there is also some annoying visuals occasionally, because we have to deal with the epilepsy scene uh, when she's getting drunk and drugged. So, yes, there are technically some annoyances here and there, but this is a film that you need to fully complete before you make your judgment on it. Um, and I also feel that it's a, it's a creative film that <clears throat> can't be tinkered with. You know, even if you and I may feel uncomfortable from a scene or two, that doesn't really matter because the film needs it to be what it is. So for this to be the one-of-a-kind masterpiece that it is and leave you walking away with the unique feelings that you've never felt before, it has to have all of this extreme content. So I wouldn't change a single thing about it. I literally would not change a single thing about it. I think it's perfect exactly the way it is. Um, so that's a pretty rare thing to say. But uh, yeah, so there are no negatives. Um, I would say these aren't negatives, but I would say the film will definitely be less enjoyable for you if you are prone to seizures or epilepsy, whatever the official term is. Uh, and also, if you're schizophrenic, you probably won't have a super fun time with this one either. But if you're not epileptic and or schizophrenic, this is going to be the greatest movie you ever watch. I guarantee it. For sure. 100%. I have no doubt about it. Um, it is a deep, dark, psychological thriller, descent into madness, character study of a tormented and twisted ballerina that cannot uh, escape her own paranoia over her friend trying to steal her role from under her, even though the entire time that's actually not what happens at all. In fact, a lot of the film is just not real whatsoever. Like, it's just purely delusions and uh, stuff that isn't actually happening. So, very, very cool film that's fun to reflect on, and it's a powerful, engaging, intense experience. It's, um, it's really going to stay with you. This is the opposite of, you know, this is... I get so tired of watching generic Hollywood stuff. It's just the same thing over and over again, the same storyboards over and over and over again. And uh, this is this is why I own this is why I own a TV screen is to watch and experience stuff like this. Uh, I've seen real life plays before, like you know the Shakespeare greats and Hamlet and all that. This is as close to that as you're going to get at a home experience. Like, this is basically like watching a play. Um, like a really good, high-quality play with really talented actors. Um, I, I think I would also declare this the best performance of all time, Natalie Portman. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, if we compare this to someone else I've given great credit to, like Joaquin Phoenix and Joker, night and day, Natalie Portman... 10 times better than Joaquin Phoenix and Joker. It's not even close. 10 times better than Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. So not even just a gendered thing, just for people as a whole, including men and women, Natalie Portman is number one, I think, for best performance I've ever seen. So this film was very, very good. Uh, yes, it was disturbing. Yes, it will scar you a little bit. Yes, it will freak you out a little bit, especially when it goes into CGI town. Literally, Natalie Portman transforms into a swan. It's one of the scariest things you'll ever see, and yes, it happens, but it's all worth it. It'll all make sense eventually, and it's an amazing journey. So, even if some of the parts kind of weird you out along the way, um, I guess Natalie Portman's no, no stranger to uh, taboo stuff, I guess, because I watched her in Leon the Professional. I'd say Leon the Professional was probably more taboo and vulgar than this one, but they're both great movies, and it's because of how weird they are. So I love to see weird, quirky stuff like this, and uh, I, yeah, like I said, in my opinion, number one best movie I've ever seen, and I guarantee you, 
you are going to have an excellent time with this. So Black Swan gets a 10 out of 10. It is just incredibly impactful and it was going to stay with me for a long time. Also, I just want to mention, as someone who has difficulty uh, staying at attuned with my own emotions, for example, I don't think I've cried for like four plus years. It's very hard for me. Sometimes I like purposely try to, but I just cannot cry. And I also can't be scared. Uh, like, let's say there's someone, let's say there was literally a person behind me right now and I looked at them, even though it's impossible, let's just say that happened, it would not make me blink an eye. Like it's impossible to scare me or like really evoke true emotion from me. But apparently it's not because this movie did. So I love to see films that are able to evoke real, raw feelings from me. And I like movies that are able to change my mental state and well-being, even, even well-being, because it's just a movie, it's not gonna like ruin your life or anything, but just the fact that it's able to change the way you feel and look at everything around you, that's a sign and a mark of a true masterpiece. So Black Swan gets a 10 out of 10, and um, I almost don't want to see it again because I don't want to tarnish the memory that I've acquired today, but I probably will have to because the film is just so incredible and it deserves another watch from me. So please watch Black Swan if you haven't already. It's the best movie, it's the best performance we've ever seen or I've ever seen, and uh, yeah. It's almost a little bit bittersweet because I'm not going to be able to capture this feeling again for quite a while. It's going to, like, who knows how long it'll take to find a movie that's going to be this impactful on me. So, that's a little bit sad, but still, amazing movie. 10 out of 10, you must go watch Black Swan.